Well, hello everybody, welcome. This is Tabitha Jane, and this reading is for Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. And this is Love. Love, November 7th through November 13th. Love messages, please. Love. For Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Love from a fire signs. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. This is a general reading. Please keep that in mind. Take what resonates, release what doesn't. If you enjoy this, please consider a, giving me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. And if you want to support the channel and my efforts, subscribe it doesn't cost you anything and it helps support me to get my message out to others regardless though this is a love reading for my fair fire signs aries sagittarius and leo please overall energy aries sagittarius and leo message messages please Aries Aries sorry Sagittarius and Leo spirit guides angels higher self ancestors guardians source God whatever your higher power is whatever you believe in messages please for my fire signs overall energy of love, please. Swan Grace, you who glides across the waters of my soul, bring me your wisdom and light. Help me transform into elegance and grace. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. Okay. fire signs. I've, what I find interesting about this, and I don't know why this really popped into my head, the swan is in a pond. Ponds are emotions. Water signs, you know, water, That those are feelings, those are emotions. Gliding, sailing, floating on your emotions. You glide across the waters of my soul. Bring me your wisdom and light. As you glide across the feelings, the emotions, allowing yourself to connect. you bring your wisdom and light. Wisdom and light are going to surface for you. Inspire me with dignity and the spirit of beauty. And fire sign, sometimes you can be a little bit domineering a little bit um, controlling a little bit stuck in your ways <laughs> hard headed not calling anybody out these are the messages that are coming through why because maybe it's time to connect a little bit with your emotions because when you get out of your own head when you get out of the place of being a mental bulldog and you connect with your emotions that's when you co-create that's when you can manifest that's when bigger things can happen. 
again, I, I'm not saying this to be, these are the messages, okay? I'm, uh, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> Please don't shoot the messenger. Mes messages of love for you guys. Love for you. To help you create the love you deserve and desire. You know? That's, that's the intent of this reading. Is messages of love for you so that you can have your dreams getting out of that place of chaos and conflict all right my fire signs aries sagittarius and leo Messages, please. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Thank you. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Messages for Aries. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, please. Wow. We'll get these all placed here. Hang on. Give me a second. Let me get all the cards and then Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Please, messages. Messages for Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, please. Messages, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Three more. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, please. Future. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Thank you. Okay. Two more. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. All right. There we go. All right, y'all. This row is the past how we got here this row is where we're currently at what it means and this is where we're going so how did we get here king of pentacles Hold on. King of Pentacles. Huh. King of Wands. And Page of Wands. Holding on tight to earthly possessions. Holding on tight to what you believe to be true. Holding on tight to the passion, the inspiration, whether it's taking you anywhere or not. Because holding on tight is a little boy's dream. Ooh, ouch. But... Like I said, this is a general, it resonates, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Let it go. Check your other signs, your sun, moon, rising. Those may resonate for you, but for many of you, many of the fire signs, the Aries, Sagittarius and Leo, it, it, it's, Trying to control, trying to uh, 
the words I just keep hearing are holding on tight to pipe dreams. And that's where we've been. Where are we now? The pipe dreams haven't helped us. Emperor standing strong, strong, trying to dominate, putting that damn sword in the ground, drawing that line in the sand, my way or the highway, I ain't gonna budge, I ain't gonna do anything different, right up here with the king of pentacles, this is grounded energy, this is earth energy, this is the physical tangible, nope, I ain't do nothing different, my way or the highway, you don't like it, get that, you know what out, still currently stuck in the, uh, even more stuck in the energy because now you got this king of, of wands here too the fire and the passion oh no 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 I know it all I got it going on I ain't doing nothing different too bad so sad that's where we're at right now I'm leaving us at a crossroads Right now, right here, not knowing which way to go. But damn it, if we're not going to give up on the control, because you know, you know it all. You got it all going on. I do not know where this is coming. This is how it's coming through, guys. You got it all going on, even though you don't know what the hell you're doing. But you know, damn it, you're not going to make a change. The high priest. Again, you know it all. Ooh. Man, the energy of this one is really intense. It is fiery. In the future, a four of cups under this chaos and conflict, looking at all the losses, all the spilt cups, all the broken cups, not even acknowledging the one you hold in your hand. Not even seeing it. Five of Wands. Struggling, feeling like you're in a battle. All the dragons, all the things coming out of the dark. Is this supposed to be a love reading? Hello, guides. And then Nine of Wands. Ready. Only good card in all of this damn reading. Ready to put behind you to step forward, to step up. Letting the ballot battles and challenges go. Fire signs, I don't know what the hell you got going on this week, but y'all got some serious some serious thinking to do, some serious um, evaluation to do. I would like to ask for advice. Angels, guardians, guides, ancestors, words of wisdom and advice, please. Words of advice and wisdom, please, for Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, November 7th through November 13th. This is heavy. 
advice advice please advice let go of the burden all right take charge and move forward messages advice please advice what are we moving forward to advice empress new ideas are trying to come through I feel like this page of wands here in the past there might have been some ideas some inspiration some insights and you poo pooed it because you're the king of wands and the king of pentacles and the emperor there was some idea that came to you you poo pooed you didn't want to acknowledge it your inspiration is trying to help you to co-create to get you out of this chaos and conflict the advice let go of the burdens let go of this move forward towards the abundance whatever that message was whatever that little inspiration was something it called to you and I'm not going to pull any more because I think you know exactly what this little inspiration was that it wasn't big enough it wasn't big enough why is spirit making me feel like this I it wasn't big enough it wasn't enough for you kingly and emperors the royalty it wasn't big enough this little page so you poo pooed it you dismissed it it didn't matter now you're in this place you're stuck you don't know which way to go just all this power energy here for you in this little itty bitty something from the past if you can lay down the burdens and lay down the crowns the heavy crowns move forward into the abundance that's this little message has for you like I said this is supposed to be a love reading and I don't know this just came out completely different for all y'all but messages come the way they come and well you see me shuffling cards and doing all the things so it ain't me not me and what do we got here soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically well your soulmates on their way but I feel like y'all have some a little bit of work to do you do You have some messages, some clarity, some wisdom to gain here. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Alright, let's see. Can we get some messages of love, please, for the fire signs? Any messages of love for the fire signs? I mean, yeah... I really feel like fire science is it's you connecting with your emotions 
so that you can co-create and remove yourself from this chaos and conflict because this is would you really want to bring someone into this kind of situation with you i'm just asking take a chance on love when we love our lives are changed forever Do you love your soulmate enough? Do you love yourself enough? To connect with your emotions. To actually create. A beginning. A foundation. That actually encourages and builds a, it, it's a solid foundation that another person can build with you Aye. well that flew you got two of them demonstrate love Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. Slow down. Pause and allow things to unfold. To me, what I'm hearing, you take it again. So this is a general reading. So you take it how you want. Love is there for you. A really great, deep, amazing love is there for you. But it's up to you. You have to connect with your emotions. You have to actually want to be with another person and build a foundation with them. You have to make that choice to get out of the chaos and conflict so that you can co-create. Build a life together. You build, build a, that co-creation is, yes, I know it's a, it's a esoteric term and um, you know, a lot of people talk about it like in manifesting and whatnot. That co-creation is also about co-creating life with another person, with the love of your life. How are you going to do that if you're all up in yourself as the emperor and the king of pentacles and the king of wands and you don't have the capacity, the emotional capacity to actually create with another human being. Create a life. Create a future. How do you do that? Would you want that for you? I'm just saying. Build for yourself first. Ask. Look. Go deep. This is actually a really heavy reading. I'm pretty shocked. To be honest. But there we be. There we be. Fire signs. I love you. I really do. My heart is with you. This week. November 7th through the 13th. I really truly hope. That this message has been insightful. And helpful in some way. To give you some kind of clarity. Some kind of insight. Some kind of inspiration and wisdom. I really do. I wish you all the very, very best. I would really, really love to hear your feedback, your comments, your experiences. Does this resonate? Is it relevant in any way, shape, or form? Was it beneficial? Did it give you some kind of clarity, insight? Where maybe you were feeling stuck? Because that is my intention, is to help, not harm. And anyways, 
I thank you all for your time today. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, again, I'm going to reiterate, if you found value, please consider giving me a like. Uh, again, comments. I love to hear what you guys think, feel, how it resonates. Really, truly. The, your feedback is the best gift ever. And if you want to support the channel, though, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps me to be able to share messages with more people that maybe I can help, too. So, if you find value, consider that. All right, guys, thank you again. I really, truly hope you have an amazing week, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.